I sat down with Chris, a former chef turned salesperson, to find out exactly why he made the switch and to see if he has any advice for people who are looking for a career in sales. But first, I had to ask, did he have any previous sales experience? I didn't have sales experience so to speak. My background is very much in the hospitality world. Before I had my own chef business, I, I worked for a helicopter skiing company as a chef. Taking care of the customer was, was the priority. So I ha absolutely had that background, but I was not a salesperson. I'm very like anti-sales person in general. It's not in my nature. So why sales? It wasn't even really top of mind. I discovered Yvaro, which is a tech sales bootcamp. As soon as I saw that and just kind of started looking into it, I was like, um, I've got all this customer facing background. It's what I like. It's what I'm good at. And tech sales is, is very much that. Yeah. So at that point, it was like, OK, this is it. I just had a goal. I wanted to be employed by the end of summer with the support and help from Yvaro, which was amazing. I was absolutely able to make that happen. Chris shared a little bit about the process of actually getting a sales job. You're applying for jobs like all these tech sales jobs, they're all advertised on LinkedIn. There's a easy apply button. You can just click that all day long and, and fire your resume out to a thousand different companies. I, I kind of knew that wasn't going to cut it. Like that's what everybody's doing. So I asked myself, what, what can I do that will one, make me stand out, and two, accelerate this process, and three, because I'm 40-something, I don't have time to mess around. I need to make this happen now, and I have a family who needs taken care of, so I don't have free time. So I found a few companies that were, that seemed like a very good fit for me. Instead of just easy apply, easy apply, I, I found people who worked, there, reached out to them on LinkedIn. And, and just like in a friendly manner, say, hey, like I, I noticed you work here. I'm super interested about your company. Can I ask what your hiring process is? And, and just, you know, can you help me out in any way here? And people are very, if you ask for help, people will help you. All right, so now you've got a sales job. Tell us a little bit about the role and how your experience as a chef helped you prepare for it. Yeah, so I am an, an SDR on the inbound team at Bench Accounting. So we get uh, leads, mostly inbound leads come from marketing. So my job is really just to connect with them, see if we can help them out and basically set them up with a free trial. When you're a chef and you work in a restaurant, there is a thing called mise en place. So you do your prep during the day so that you can be prepared for the dinner rush in the evening. And if you don't do your preparations and dinner time hits, all of a sudden you are in the weeds and you are stressed out trying to do prep and serve meals. It's just like the worst experience ever that every cook and every chef has experienced. And honestly, that's how I felt in the first several weeks at Bench. I was in the weeds every day because I didn't have everything in place. I wasn't prepared to do the job to a level of competency that I figured I should be doing it at. And so that I really did. I spent every waking hour just getting it better and figuring it out. And um, I didn't take any any weekends until recently. I've reached a level now where at least I've, I've got a foundation. My prep is done and, and I can move forward. Switching from chef to sales? Did you make the right decision? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I think I'm really super happy with where I'm at now. The reason really why I do wanna stay, particularly the company I'm at now, is just because of the people who we serve, uh, business owners. And uh, for me, it's just so easy to relate to them. Every day I'm, I'm meeting someone who has their own story and it's just, every day it's, it's rewarding. All right, final question. What advice would you give to people who are considering a switch to sales later in their careers? Absolutely doable. I'm the perfect example, but it's not easy. <laughs> you will face challenges being an older person and, and trying to get work in a young industry. There's going to be age bias, so not every company is going to be the best fit. And that's something that you will have to face. Whether in your 30s or your 40s, you have decades of reserve knowledge, you have decades of experience, and you have a huge um, advantage when it comes to starting out in a role like this where you can draw on all those experience and those experiences are absolutely gonna help you uh, succeed at the role. I made 
and still do, I mean, make so made so many mistakes in in learning the new role. And I think that I knew that was going to happen, but I think also being okay with that is is going to be helpful for for anyone jumping into a new role. It's like fail forward, just go for it, make mistakes, learn from the mistakes, and then progress forward.